if you want to start taking your VCL and FireMonkey applications and giving them as an option the Windows 8 style, we have those styles built in. And we have wizards for building uh, projects uh, that start with the uh, with the Windows 8 style. We call this the Metropolis UI. And we have a converter where you can take your VCL and FireMonkey applications and you can build versions of, of the Windows 8 style uh, to get ready for users. Um, but of course, we've also made sure that the IDE and your VCL and your FireMonkey applications simply run as is on uh, Windows 8. We've done a lot of testing that way. But if you want that look and feel, it's very easy to do. Let's take a look how easy. We can say File New. And if you have a VCL application, so we might put uh, you know, a few user interface uh, elements on the, on the form. So maybe a checkbox and a button and maybe an edit box, sort of classic uh, uh, user interface, for example. And, uh, and once we have this VCL application, if we want to turn it into a VCL Windows 8 style application, just right mouse click on the local menu, you'll see Convert to Metropolis UI. You can uh, make that conversion. Everything looks a little bit uh, bigger. Uh, for touch-based user interfaces. And then we can scroll down and we've got four of the four standard looks for a Windows 8 style, the blue style, the dark style, the green style, and the black style. So let's take uh, blue, for example, and then run this application. And now we'll have a full screen with a little bit bigger controls and nice, nicer looking checkboxes. And of course, the Seago font which is the default font now, and a, and a button style, which when we click it, it's highlighted with orange. We can make this a little bigger to make it more touch friendly. We can also create new styles. There's a combined style editor, uh, have bitmap styles for FireMonkey. So there's the bitmap style editor. So you can open up a, a bitmap style or you can create a new bitmap style and you can save it uh, as either a VCL style or a FireMonkey style. Bitmap style supported for both VCL and FireMonkey to give you that pixel for pixel uh, accuracy that you might want for uh, look and feel on Windows and Macintosh in the case of FireMonkey for Windows uh, Windows XP through Windows 8. You can do the same thing if you've got an existing FireMonkey application from XE2. You can say I'll have a FireMonkey desktop application and uh, let's put a button down. Here's our button and a event handler. So let's put text, set that equal to 42, and then run it. Make sure everything's okay. It compiles, it runs, click on the button, and it'll change the caption. Or in this case, FireMonkey, the text. And go back and say right mouse click, convert it to Metropolis UI. It'll convert it to default uh, black style. We can change it to something else. And here we can load up the style editor. And now uh, choose a custom style, for example, uh, Metropolis Green, and apply it and close. And now we've got the green style. We can run this. And again, it's a full screen. Click on the button. It still does the right thing. And when we're done, close it. There's also some project templates for the Metropolis UI. We've got VCL Metropolis, Delphi, FireMonkey, VCL FireMonkey, C++, Metropolis FireMonkey. You can uh, choose that. There's three standard application types. Uh, blank Metropolis, Grid Metropolis, and Split Pane. So Grid looks like this. It's got uh, a set of, uh, of tiles, and we can uh, put data or text or whatever we want inside of those. Uh, run it. It also uses gestures and, and actions. So we can go in and, and move between the different tiles, groups of tiles in these lists, and we can go in and, and put uh, the title of the group panel and item and put data and display over here. So these are standard uh, uh, looks for Windows 8 that are defined by the Windows 8 style. Most of you will remember the early days of Windows with the MDI or multiple document interface and then the single document interface or SDI. These are now the new the new default styles of applications for Windows 8 style. And so we have those for VCL and FireMonkey. We could have the split pane. And uh, let's just run this one. 
and now we've got uh, items that we can go in a list and we've got this the specific item that we might choose we go choose another one and again you have sub sub items and then the uh, the text that's associated with them so here with the split pane with the uh, selections and then it's a nice big button if you're on a touch screen to uh, to click to get back and when you're done uh, close that application and come back so easy to start a new windows 8 or you can still build your vcl and your FireMonkey applications